up a little bit. Right, something. How about tomorrow? We'll get up close to 80 degrees. That's good. Looks to be good. It's brief, but we'll take it. Uh, we did have a little bit of uh, thunder last night. Once again this morning, let's take a look at our Viper HD. We'll show you what's going on. We did have that severe thunderstorm warning until 11 o'clock this morning for uh, eastern parts of Waukesha, southern ports of Ozaki, and all of Milwaukee, and that quickly moved out over the lake. Then the second band has made its way through. It has not been severe, but as you can see, there are plenty of downpours, lightning, and reports of some extremely small hail. The one that triggered the warning did have some uh, quarter-size hail. That's what makes a storm severe. This has only been producing pea size, if not smaller, but a lot of rain and a lot of lightning. This should be it for the day then. This will slide on through and then we'll be mostly cloudy and warming up throughout the afternoon. Closer look on, di on Doppler HD. I said diaper. Doppler. Uh, Port Washington starting to clear out just a little bit with the heavier rain, but still seeing some light rain. Campbell Sport down to Hartford, back into Waupon. Heavy, heavy rain, maybe some small hail and a lot of lightning. We'll watch this sell very carefully. And see if it does intensify and maybe become severe over the next hour before it pushes out over the lake. To the graphics. The rest of today and for tonight, uh, we will see a slight risk to the north of us. But like last night, even though we didn't have any severe weather here, you did hear some rumbles of thunder. You heard some pinging of small hail on your windows, uh, especially north of Milwaukee. So that could be once again. The main threat, though, is to the north. Then for tomorrow, we will see severe thunderstorms off to the west during the day. It moves in here tomorrow evening and especially tomorrow night with this low pressure system and cold front. And then for the weekend, Saturday looks sunny. Sunday not as bad as we thought yesterday, but still there's a chance for some rain showers during the afternoon for mom. Otherwise, temperatures are quite uh, comfortable. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s this weekend. Finally, temperatures now 40s up north, 40s and 50s along the lake, 60s and almost 70 in Chicago. It's 80 in Des Moines. That warmer weather is getting close. It is still dreary out there, but the pavement starting to dry up in Waukesha after those downpours and that small hail this morning. 46 degrees, northeast winds at 14. 51 in Milwaukee, almost 60 in Lake Geneva, 64 in Janesville. There will be a few 70s uh, in the inland areas later this afternoon. Tonight's lows, not all that low. Low 50s along the lakefront for the most part, upper 50s inland. The best chance of rain will be to the north, but still some scattered showers and maybe rumble of thunder around late tonight. Then for tomorrow, this is more like it. Southerly winds at 10 to 20. Everyone warms up into the 70s, even a few 80s. It will be humid. You're not used to that. And then look for some thunderstorms developing late in the afternoon, the evening, and then especially overnight as this low pressure and this cold front moves in. Just some lingering showers in early on Friday. 57 today, inland 71. Those showers and thunderstorms ending. An isolated storm overnight tonight, mainly to the north, and a low of 51. The 10-day outlook. 78 tomorrow with thunderstorms late in the day. 70 and windy on Friday with those showers early. Saturday sunny in 63, and we stay mainly in the 60s through Wednesday of next week. We're back after this.